today's review is to roam for love the first episode came on after the real housewives of atlanta and i must say i think this is gonna be a good show i feel myself already getting into it off the first episode so as you already know gina neely is from down home with the neelys the cooking show I'm glad to see her here wanting to be um, something else than that, that she wants everybody to know her for. She wants a whole new persona. She doesn't want to stick under that stigma, under that old persona. She wants a new beginning, new meaning. I'm glad to see that, but she's 51. She's from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, then we have Ashley, who's 32. She's from Covington, Louisiana. And she was in a nine-year relationship. We have uh, Mercedes. She is from, how you say it? Miriam, I think it is, Florida or something like that. And um, she already irritated me out of the gate. The first thing she want to know is how to say, hey, daddy. No, sweetie, you're not looking for somebody to be a father figure to you. You're looking for a man. So let's go on and erase that now and get some of this this stuff out of her head because this girl crazy. But moving on, Nikita. She's 37. Did I say Mercedes was 25? She is 37 and she is from Bolingbrook, Illinois. I We're going to get into that in a minute. She was in a... Um, I don't remember how long she said she was married, but they've been divorced now go um, two years and then we have shay um which is she's 38 from houston texas so as the show go on we come to find out that she and nikita were good friends and they kind of already know each other well they already know each other anyway because they was pretty close but anyway i want to start off by saying gina does not look her age she look like she's the same age as the women she in the house but she does not look 51 she look every bit of 35 at the most her, she snatched, looked good, was dressed, slay her little gray dress. I loved how it fit her, how on the thigh, how all that sexy leg out. She was beautiful. Um, Shay was being a really big groupie. I was needing Diane to pull her to the side and say, look, she here because she don't want to be known for that anymore. She trying to have a new beginning. I'm going to need you to come down and, you know, stop, you know, being a groupie because that's she doesn't want to be here as under that persona or whatever she's trying to have a new start and a new beginning um mercedes honey she young dumb and wild when it come to men i'm not talking about book smarts but i'm talking about when it come to dating and men um ashley i'm gonna tell you out the gate ashley is gonna be the conceited one she kind of bougie She'll be the one who requires a lot of attention that she has to do. I feel like she's going to be the one in the group that has to do whatever she needs to redirect everybody onto her and her beauty. I just feel like that's the type of person she's going to be already. But this is only the first episode, so we're going to have to see. I definitely have to watch um the next one. So anyway, I want to say that G Gina was right. Where they, where we live, I live right out. She's from Memphis, Tennessee, and I live right outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Like we going to the city for major shopping and all that kind of stuff. So y'all seen in some some of my vlogs. I'm in Memphis or whatever. She is right. Racism is real bad right now, and for her age group, you didn't date outside of your race. Like for my age group, you did, but for her age group, you you didn't date outside of your race. So a big it's that's it's kind of big for her and out of her comfort comfort zone to be in Italy with majority white males and trying to go up and talk to one that's way out of her comfort zone. So she's gonna feel uncomfortable because we we don't we don't do this here. We we don't do that and most time here we don't have to go up and do a lot of approaching men. If they want to talk to you, they come to you. That's just, we old school, I guess you could say. But Nikita's, I think she's in a 12-year relationship, has her past damage. Hearing, hearing her story made me feel like I was watching Diary of a Mad Black Woman. It really did. It had me feel like I was watching Diary of a Mad Black Woman. But then when she said how he went about trying to divorce her, girl... The whole situation is just a whole Tyler Perry movie in itself. When how he cheated on her and all of that, I felt like I was watching Die of a Mad Black Woman. Then how he uh 
And how she cheated and all that. I feel like we was on, um, why did I get married? How he met the girl, was messing with and all of that. It switched over to diary, uh, why did I get married? And then how he divorced her, all this stuff they went through, signing the papers. I feel like I went back to the part of Diary of a Mad Black Woman when he drug Helen out the house. Girl, that's why she's so damaged. She messed up. She better sit down and watch that movie with a glass of wine and realize she need to get up and move on and get it together because he got too big of a hold on her. Then he called her on the phone asking, as uh, Nikita said, the bottom twitch. I don't want to say B-I-T-C-H because I don't know how to be calling her that. The bottom twitch comb her daughter hair. He doing whatever he can to, to stay relevant in this lady life because it's obvious to me right now that her ex, Terrence is his name, don't want her to move on. He just trying to keep her, he tries to keep her at a place where she just won't completely go on and move on. He wants to just kind of toggle her around a bit because he know and play with her emotions because he just know how to get at her. And then when them kids was on the phone, he hung up that call on purpose. He just did that because he wanted to be seen and wanted to be up in the business, wanted that little no shirt shot. Honey, if you was going to do a no shirt shot, you should have had a toned body because you was not toned. You had a regular smegler body and you weren't even looking that good that you need to be on the camera no way. Now here you go want to be on the camera and get seen and come up on hurt i caught it did y'all catch it because i definitely caught it if y'all didn't y'all better go back and watch it again anyway i love gina's sense of humor when she told ashley uh no nah, not in my tub she said but i can sit over here in the chair and watch me like move that leg that way i got so doggone tickled <laughs> i didn't because we don't know her like that it's good sitting that side of her but um i feel like out of the gate Ashley was trying to size up all the women in the house to see how much better than them than them she was. Like, uh, who when? Because to me, it, she just didn't like that Gina was the most popular and everybody knew her. When checking for her, that was the issue for her. I feel like whatever semi-pro baller she was with, a pro baller she was with, had her mind gone because she used to trying to be known for that. Now she wanted to be popular. She's not the popular girl in the house. I feel like it's kind of high schoolish because she wants to be the most popular in the house and I and that's going to be Gina and not and that's just by default because of who she is and how everybody know her. And then she told me, I think I need to Google you. I thought to myself, yeah, you have to Google me. But then I'm like, Gina, no, don't because I don't want you to know me by that. So then the first thing she's going to say, so obviously Gina is the rich one. And why are you worried about any of that? Y'all here worried about dating. You up here sizing all the women up in the house trying to see how much better and prettier than you are than everybody in the house. Girl, bye. So I'm a, I already tell you now, our two biggest two drum queens in this house, one of them is going to be Ashley and we get into the second one. So, um... They go, the, the next person, Shay. Shay is going to be our next drummer queen. Shay is so naive. She kind of like a dingbat to me. She just so willy-nilly and just so damn green. Like, girl, you ain't never been out the house before. Like, you just don't take up with any and everybody. But anyway, when they go out on the first day, Ashley going down the street, hugging, uh, kissing, Chabella, Chabella, everybody on their cheeks. Girl, she gonna have money on the first day. You don't just be walking down the street kissing on everybody. You don't know these men from Jack. You in a whole nother country. You walking around kissing all these people on the cheek. It, it's not the mouth, no. But to me, kissing is kissing. Cheeks is cheeks. The germs is germs. They have herpes all over the face. They have mono. You can get mono without being up in somebody's mouth. Girl, bye. But she was really feeling herself. And then when they show her and her little confession talking about this the first time she really been this comfortable to behave this way. Girl, you lying. You been acting like this. You cannot tell me, oh, you just come on this show and you suddenly this friendly. Girl, you tell that lie to somebody else because that that's obviously a doggone lie. You just didn't get off the, the plane and say, I'm going to be friendly and kiss everybody I meet. Girl, you been acting like this. When the key... Uh, Nikita, something else about the phone call when Nikita Kia said, oh, you smiling again. That broke my heart. 
you got to, when you have kids, you got to pull yourself together. You cannot sit around and beat yourself up, be down and negative. Your kids is watching this. You can't be doing that. They watch how you behave and carry. Yo, you're going to have to pull it together, get it together, and be a stronger woman. Because that weakness right there, just that weakness alone is a turn off for some men. So she really needs to get it together. That's why Terrence was just ran all over. But yeah, he was still petty anyway with that phone call to her. Um... Let's see, I talked about Gina's outfit. She looked absolutely amazing her in her um in her outfit. Um that guy that Shay met, I didn't like him. I agree with Gina. He felt too controlling to me and his game was whack. The stuff he was saying was whack. And Shay was just over there <laughs> carrying on girls. What the hell wrong with you? Like she ain't never been nowhere, ain't never dated or done nothing. Just just as green and if a man look out blowing her ear, her legs part, she gonna have to get some control about herself. She, she just was a hot mess. She all down and getting personal, got into a personal deep conversation. You don't even know this man from Adam. She was too much. Then you getting drunk with a stranger and let him kiss you all in your mouth. You don't know if he, he, if he straight, bi, married, not married. You really don't know nothing about him. <clears throat> Honey, poor Gina, her and the key to both, they sitting over there looking like they looking. Don't neither one of them know how to date. To me, they those two are they have been the longest in a relationship. So it, to me, it's gonna be harder for them two to date and to move on because they so not used to dating right now. Um I think Gina is like she told a woman she don't want to be known for be known for her show or whatever. But at the same time, outside behind that, Gina, she don't know how to approach and talk to people. She don't know how to date. She don't know what to do. And I do still feel like she was just out of her element because number one, she ain't used to dating white men. Number two, she ain't used to having to approach and talk to nobody. Number three, the lady was married 24 years and then you up and wanted her to just go out there and just be like Ashley all over folks. It's not going to happen because she's going to have to warm up to the idea of getting used to it. While her and her husband are apart and separated, you still have to get used used to it because you're so used to him. You have to learn a new way. And only a married woman is going to understand what I'm saying or a woman that's been in a relationship for a real long time is going to comprehend what I'm saying. How it is you're so used to one person, they routine, routine how they what they do, how they go. And now you want her to just date. It's, it's just give her a minute. I mean, she she gonna be all right, but you trying to ask for too much on the first date. And two, she seem and three, she seemed like the type she like to sit back, fill out the room, and people watch and see if it's somebody she may actually want to talk to, not just at like Shay and run up and start hunching and, and hunch on everybody's leg. But anyway, um. Let's see who else. Shay needs to date first and learn how to be a friend, uh, be friends with somebody, get to know somebody. Cause she she trying to have a boyfriend on the first night. They ain't even been there, but how long? And she almost got a she got a boyfriend on the first night, and he didn't let it let her know she couldn't date nobody else. You just got here to find somebody. You cannot be sitting up here with somebody talking about you can't talk, can't date, you can't talk. Mm -mm. You need to leave him alone. What's his name? R Roberto. Send Roberto on back down to Cobblestone because not today, honey. But baby, when let me get my church fan out, honey. When they were sitting at that table getting ready for dinner, they were sitting there all like, what are we going to order? Um, And is Shay coming? That group of men walked down that doggone sidewalk. They did like some quadruple takes on them. They had to completely stop walking and just had to look. They were just so in awe and, and blown away by all that brown beauty snow you know, that they were just like, I'm like, if I ever get divorced, guess who going to Italy? I said everything I got to get that ticket because I intend to come back with some with a man with, that can fly me back. I don't even need my coins. But anyway, <laughs> Shay was wrong for inviting that man. To dinner with them. Y'all know this man, Shay. Why you invite him? Tell me you go, girl, bye. And her mouth. 
Shay's mouth, I see right now, going to be the downfall. And then Ashley was cool when she said, so do you have a brother? And then she got a shady answer. He got a smart mouth. I don't know. We just got here. Ain't nobody finna be dealing. We just, let, this is why we left the U.S. for all this smart mouthness and this attitude. We don't need that from your little sad piece you already got, Shay. Uh-uh. Send him on this. She, she already taking up for him, getting defensive, trying to uh, ruin her relationship with the group over this dude already. You don't know him. Why are you going at the group and acting stupid and not listening over that? I see right now she's just going to be naive and dumb as she want to be. Because she ain't got no business kissing on this man and carrying on with her. But now this Mercedes, this child here, and I say child because she's just a little girl living in a fairy tale land. She done wrote out her whole life on, on paper. And she think that's how it's going to happen. And she about to get so disappointed. That's why she here on this show now because her little written rule is not working. Talking about because she's going to be married in two years. Honey, if you get married in two years, that means you settling for any man that you meet. It don't matter if you like him, don't like him. If he love you, don't love you. And you just going to take up with the first person that seemed like he that you can convince to put a ring on your finger and go on and get married because you got to be married by this date so don't look for that married marriage to last because you're going to have to get that out of your mind world don't happen by, like a, a novel that you read or by a plan that you write down honey if it does it because like shay said if god is because god wanted you to so anyway, they get back to this house after Paul Jenner done slipped on the cobblestone. Cause you know, I heard when you go to Italy, cause I got some friends that's done went. When you go to Italy, don't wear heels, girl. Wear your cute flats cause the cobblestone is slippery. So Miss Gina, you don't you go back out with them heels on. You better find you some cute flats. But anyway, Nikita's gonna have to get the cob out of her butt. Because she a little stiff to me. Like, she's just so uptight and bound tight. Then she got to get over the past. This man was horrible. He did horrible things to you, but you cannot let it keep owning you and running you. Girl, it's been two years, and I understand the hurt and the pain, because I've been hurt before. But you cannot... It's, it's, it's affecting your kids at this point. It's affecting... You got to get your life back. You cannot just keep sitting around and soaking. And I feel like her issue is... Because she's self-confident. Like, she thinks she gained weight. She put on all this weight. And I feel like that, that's that man's fault. Because he pretty much was. So when he told her, I ain't attracted to you no more. Because she gained weight. Having his kids catering to him. Helping him build his life. Now she's self-conscious. But you don't have to be. If, when you that self-conscious girl, I would have went to the weight loss doctor. And been done dropped 20 or 30 pounds. Because she not that big. If you that self-conscious, you better go get you some sacks. Send it, honey. If you need to know some information on it, scroll down to the bottom or click on the playlist that says weight loss. And Chanel will help you. Or either you better go get you some phenomene if you don't have no high blood pressure or something like that. Girl, hit the gym. Work out every day. Three, four months. That 20 pounds will be gone. Then we won't be able to tell you nothing. Honey, you'll be out there acting like Shay. Ashley kissing on everybody and hunching people's leg and kissing them in the mouth. Girl, you better go on. Because for no bigger than, than, than she is, she just got to get over herself and just stop having a pity party. She, the shit happened. But it's, it has happened to many a women. You're not the only one it's done happened to, and, and you will not be the last one it happens to. You got to pull it together, jump back up on that horse, go get your life, go get yourself together. Because, honey, let me tell you what, when you get yourself together and... He already, baby, you ain't even lost your weight and got fine again yet, but you already beautiful. So let, listen to them Italian men. They trying to tell you, but, but peep this though. He tries to keep you insecure so you won't move on and get somebody else. He don't want you, but he don't want nobody else to want you. But when you take control and start letting him rule over you like you do, because you entertain him. Why are you on the phone listening to everything he say and entertaining his messages? You got to realize you above him at this point. He ain't got no more control, no house, no deed that he holding over you. Y'all separated, everything gone, go on about your business. Stop letting him have control over your life like that or you're going to be miserable. Go on down to Anytime Fitness, work out 30 minutes, four days a week, every other day. Don't skip two days consecutively. Good girl, I'm a coach, I know. I, I'm big and fluffy because I choose to be. We'll get into that later. Anyway, you a beautiful lady. 
just go on. Because when he see that you looking fine, then he going to be trying to side text you while the little twitch sitting over there cooking. He going to be trying to side, he going to be side tweeting you talking about. Yeah, because he going to realize you're looking good. Then the next thing you're going to hear is him trying to say negative stuff about you to stop anybody else from wanting to date. You don't play into this. Go on about your business. You uh hiding that. You better than that. We over that. We're not going to entertain it or nothing else. So anyway, that's all my review for To Love With Rome. This is season one, episode one. So... Y'all, if y'all done watch this, catch the show so y'all be ready so we can get into episode two. I thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next review. Oh,